All right, so I'm excited today. We actually get to show you the uh, gene gun in action. Um, so something back a second. The gene gun is uh, essentially a, a tool that allows us to take and uh, physically fire DNA um, into a cell, um, allowing it to be transformed. Um, it's a slightly different method than, say, agrobacteria or a PEG uh, protocol or something like that. Um, so here is the machine here. Um, I'm going to walk you through the steps, basically, of how you kind of set it up, um, and then we'll demonstrate it firing as well. Um, so on a high level, essentially what's happening is you have a vacuum chamber here where all of your stuff goes. Um, up here you have um, a pressure chamber where the helium will build up pressure to a certain point. Um, that will uh, then break what's called a rupture disc, um, creating a shock wave, and then projecting the DNA down into um, whatever plant tissue or um, cells you've got below. So first, you need to put in the rupture disc. So that's what these little things are. Uh, these little plastic pieces here. So these are 650 rupture discs, which means that they will break at 650 PSI. Put that in here, like that. And then there's a little thing up here that you screw that into. And it makes some fun noise, so bear with me. Cool. And then we've got this little tool here to tighten it up a little bit. All right, so that's all nice and secure. Next, we need our DNA-coded nanoparticles. So that's what we've got here. So if you take a look at here, these are some uh, tungsten nanoparticles um, that are that have already pre-coded with DNA. Um, at some point, we'll probably take you through that step as well, but uh, not today. So what we do is we load that into this little metal piece here. Careful not to uh, scrape the DNA off, because that would be bad. And then just push it in. Make sure it's in there nice and tight. So now we'll put that, this piece in here. I'm going to put it upside down because the shock wave will go down. And that's the way we're firing the DNA. All right. We then need a nice little stopping screen. You don't want the actual uh, membrane going into whatever tissue uh, you're bombarding. And then finally, that means we're ready for the tissue. So here is just an onion peel. Um, it's literally just an onion that uh, we bought from uh, the grocery store and then kind of cut it out um, and then took a peel from the inside. Um, it's useful to kind of test run um, gene guns because one, it's kind of a flat layer of cells. You can kind of test to see what the pattern is of, that you're bombarding. Um, two, they're clear, so you can kind of see things uh, much easier. And then three, onion cells are um, pretty decent sized. Um, so you can see them fairly easily under a microscope. So we'll put that in here. And so what we've got here is we've got the rupture disc up here that'll desi that's designed to break at a very uh, specific pressure. Um, our DNA um, coated nanoparticles are here. We've got the stop screen, and then down here we've got uh, our onion cells ready to be bombarded. 